guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos across the whole medieval period. We do lots of reviews into other people's gear, we do crafting videos into costuming, we do DIY videos into uh, furniture and this kind of thing. We do videos about medieval encampment and cooking and we do analysis videos into the events that took place, who were the key people and why did things turn out the way that they did. If medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing Yes, I know the beard has gone. Long live the beard. Alrighty guys, welcome to Knot of the Week. So we're going to do a whole bunch of different knots and this is really about uh, developing some skills for medieval style campments and that kind of thing. So whether you're into live action role play, medieval reenactment or the SCA or lots of other groups, perhaps you'd just like to develop your knot tying skills. Maybe you're just in school or, or in the scouting movement, that kind of thing. This is a great place to learn some of that stuff. We're going to be doing at least one knot a week, sometimes more. Um, and they're going to be very simple step-by-step -step instructions. Let's take a look. Today's knot is the reef knot. Alrighty guys. So today we're going to tie the sheet bend knot. Fantastic for camping. Very good for your, your camp crafts. It's used for joining two different thicknesses of rope. Now I'm using a green piece of nylon cordage. This is actually 550 or also known as paracord. And this particular one is a, is a um, natural fiber rope. Now I pre much prefer using natural fiber ropes. I'm simply using the nylon cordage today because um, I'm going to use that to highlight where the different cords go. So joining two different pieces of rope of different uh, diameters together. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the th thicker piece of rope and we're going to put a bend in it like so. I like to keep a nice, uh, this is probably three, four inches roughly sort of eight to twelve centimeters approximately. Okay, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take the tag of the um, nylon cord already. Sorry, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of nylon cord and we are going to go like so. We're wrapping it around like uh, this. Okay, now you have a very strong knot there stronger in this case because this is natural fiber rope it has a lot of natural resistance to itself and we've also left decent tags here um, some people find that polypropylene cords or plastic cords or nylon cords that kind of thing tend to be a bit more slippy so there's a few different things we can do uh, now there's a couple of variations on this knot that we're now going to go through. So here is the traditional sheet bend knot. Okay. We can make a quick release version of the sheet bend by doing the same kind of knot. Alrighty. So we have a thicker rope and we've put that into a diameter. Alright, now we're going to go now what we're going to do is we're going to put the narrow rope and we're going to allow, we're not actually going to go all the way through. What we're going to do, excuse my fingers, and all right. So there we have a quick release version. All I need to do now, if I want to undo the rope, or the knot rather, is just to pull on that tag and this will naturally come undone. Okay, very, very simple, very easy to do, very easy to tie, great for when you're doing, you know, washing lines and that kind of thing around your campsite. But um, also very useful if you, you find yourself in a situation where um, the, the, the main rope that you have doesn't actually extend as far as you want it to or you feel you need to join some ropes together for, for whatever reason. Great knot to know. Okay, there's one other variation on this knot. 
Another way we can tie this knot, and I like to tie it in this particular manner because I like to have more confidence in my knots. In Queensland, Australia, we tend to have a lot of big storms and big winds, so I like to have that bit of extra reassurance. Um, let's face it, I'm an engineer in my previous life. That was my degree at university, so uh, that's my background and I like to know things that are gonna last. Uh, but strangely, I went from engineering to nursing, but that's a whole different story. Alrighty, so we have our main line. We're gonna turn that into a loop as we've done in all the other variations of the sheet bend. Okay, we're gonna take our, we're gonna take our narrower line. We're gonna come up through and round the back of the knot. We're gonna give ourselves a bit of extra slack and we're then gonna come through. So this is a double sheet bend. We're gonna pass underneath the knot, okay? And we're gonna come back through, allowing ourselves plenty of slack and that should be Alrighty, our double sheet bend. That is a super, super strong knot. Very, very easy to tie, very, very easy to undo. Great knot actually um, for using in times when you might have lower visibility due to fog, rain, darkness, that kind of thing. Uh, and again, those people who are watching this from the military should be familiar with this knot. And this is a really good knot to know. Um, there's lots of different courses in the military where you will need to know this knot. Um, a lot of people in the uh, boating areas will need to know this knot and for scout craft and that kind of thing for that. Great knot to know. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I will catch you in my next video.